Chess friends, in this game Bobby Fischer played three brilliant moves. When I was analyzing his game, I was totally amazed because he played three brilliant moves at the age of 13. Let me show his brilliant moves, brilliant move 1. Brilliant move number 2. And brilliant move 3. He was born to create history and he did. Let's go, Donald starts with knight f3. 13 years old Fisher played knight f6. c4. You can play e6 or c6, modern line. Fisher played g6, he wants to play king Indian setup. So, knight c3. Bishop g7. d4. Castle. Bishop f4. d5. Queen b3. d takes c4. Queen takes c4. Targeting on the pawn, so c6. e4. Knight bd7, inaccuracy move, best move was queen a5, bringing out the queen, pinning the knight and targeting the pawn. He played rook d1, inaccuracy. Best move was h3. Knight b6. Queen c5. Bishop g4. Bishop g5, blunder. Best move was bishop e2. The only one move changed the game evaluation bar. Guys, pause the video and try to find the brilliant move for Fisher. go. 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. 10. OK time's up. If you find knight a4, then congratulations, you are correct. Because he can't take the knight, let me show the variation. Then knight takes e4. It's minus 4 position. Because if queen moves away to anywhere. Knight takes bishop. King takes bishop. White will lose this pawn, and king's position is very cramped. White will lose the game because it's minus 6. Let me show another variation. If queen takes pawn, then queen a5 check. If knight moves to c3 square. Knight takes knight. Threatening to play rook e8, pinning the queen. So, queen c5 by white. Queen takes queen. Then rook f e8, check. If bishop blocks, then it will be devastating. King d2. Knight e4 check. King c2. Knight takes f2, and that's enough. Bishops are snipering these squares. White will lose his one rook, and the game. So, back to the current position. Donald played queen a3. We have knight takes c3. Pawn takes c3. Knight takes e4. Bishop takes e7 inaccuracy. Best move was bishop e3. Fisher played queen b3, threatening to play rook e8. Bishop can't take the rook let me show the variation. Bishop takes f8, targeting the queen. Queen b3. Knight takes c3. You can't take this, because of this, bishop here, you will lose your queen. So, queen takes queen. That takes b6. It's 4 versus 4 pieces, but it's minus 6.38 condition, because it's all about activity of your pieces. And you can create a pass pawn in the future. Knight and rook are very active. Bishop here, king is stuck in the middle and black is winning. So, in this position, he played bishop c3. Guys, again, I won't pause the video and try to find the brilliant move for Fisher. go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ok time's up. If you find knight takes c3, then congratulation, you are correct. You can't take the knight, let's take a look about this. Rooker e8. Castle. Rook takes e7. Bishop here. Queen takes f3. Rook fe1. Then queen b4. 
it's minus 3.68 eval. Because there is 3 versus 1 condition. Black will win the game easily. So, in this position, he played bishop c5. Rook f e8, check. King here. Bishop e6, another brilliant move by Fisher. What was his age? Only 13. Because he was my subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, subscribe the channel, and watch my daily courses videos, so one day, you will play like Fisher or like me, if you love the chess game, and learn chess strategies and tactics. I am here to teach you. Okay, he is sacrificing his full queen, on b6. What if, bishop takes e6, then queen b5 check. King g1. Knight e2 check. Knight g3 check. King g1, because king e1 is not possible because there is mate. Guys again, I want pause the video and find out the best move Fisher, go. 1. 2. 3. 4. Okay, time's up. Best move is queen f1 check. Rook takes f1, then knight e2, checkmate. What a brilliant brain of Fisher and you because you just find the checkmate sequence. Back to the position, queen takes knight is not possible, let's see. Queen takes c5, threatening the bishop. So, d takes c5. Bishop, takes c3. Bishop, takes e6, rook takes e6. King position is very cramped. Black can target the pawn easily, rook here to target this. Black will manage to create some multiple passed pawns. So, in this position, Donald played bishop takes queen. Bishop, takes c4 check. King g1. Knight e2 check. King f1. Knight takes d4 check. Knight e2 check. King f1. Knight c3 check. A takes b6, targeting the queen and the rook at the same time. Queen b4. Rook goes to a4. Everybody protecting everybody. So, queen takes b6. Knight takes d1. h3, creating escaping square, so the rook will be active. Rook takes a2. Bishop d5, black have two pass pawns. Well protected king structure and powerful pieces, and white is loosing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Take care, see you in my next video.